Welcome back to Myers Mushrooms. This is an update on the grow build out. We're having progress being made on the uh, the boiler. This week the inspector came by and inspected the gas lines. The uh, plumber came and pressure checked it before that. We had one leak at the end. We click, quickly fixed that and uh, got it certified, inspected, stamped, and we're gonna have the gas hooked up on uh, tomorrow or Friday. Uh, the, the boiler workers were out here for the first day. So they're putting all new fittings and lines on. Uh, new sight gauge. Um, they're starting on the wiring as you can see. One thing that we was required is e-stop so I went ahead and hooked those up. We have an e-stop over here by the main entry and then another e-stop over there right at the corner. So that way if you're coming down the hallway and you hear something's wrong you can kill it. Um, so the boiler is going to create about, it's up, up to 150 psi. I think I'm going to run mine at around 30, 40 psi. That's going to get regulated down to around 15 psi for the the jacket and the chamber for the autoclave, um, and you can see there's the other side. That's inside the lab over there with another door. Um, so I went and removed the heat exchanger that used to be over there, and we're we're now just going to have a, a steam in line. There's actually nothing back there right now, but there's a port on the back that is going to be the steam in. And then the jacket steam in is going to be the end of, of this pipe here. There's a uh, the fitting that's wiggling right now, that, that trap, the uh, filter. That's where the other steam in is going to be. And um, it had these pneumatic valves, and we're going to keep using those. These pneumatic valves, that's, that's the steam valve itself. So when you send air to it, it opens the valve up. Um, that way it's easy to automate it. You just have your air lines running to your solenoid valves and when the solenoid valves are actuated it, it flips it on so that's progress on the autoclave we should have that running hopefully next week i'm still waiting on the exhaust parts we had issues with sourcing all the parts so once those come in uh the exhaust will go up it's a eight inch stainless steel double wall it's actually triple wall for the chimney part um not cheap that was about eighteen hundred dollars and so let, let me go into that expenses i'll probably have a breakdown one of it in the future but right now it's 80 dollars an hour for the labor guys and then there's two guys there today so that's you know 160 dollars an hour um and then all of the parts i mean just the regulators and the the regulator alone was like five six hundred dollars safety reliefs have to be updated every two or three years um and they're about all the safety reliefs together is probably like a thousand dollars almost so it adds up and then I have to keep up with state inspections um, annually and there's actually a, a biannual inspection as well. Um, so I'll have more, once it's all hooked up, I'll have a video about how it operates, how autoclaves operate, um, but I'll wait till it's done to really go over the details. Uh, that way I can show you how it's hooked up. Besides that, the bagging area is emptied out again and we are getting ready to do another coat of paint. The reason why is we ran with the tile clad, which is awesome, super, super rugged paint, but it's a two-part epoxy. The issue is it's very smooth and it gets super, super slippery over here, um, especially when you have like the wet soybean mixture, uh, soybean hull mixture, it, it just gets very slippery. So what we're gonna do is, we're, uh, Ryan was in here scrubbing, cleaning. Uh, we're gonna sand it tomorrow, scuff it up a little bit, and we're going to do a second coat, but with a grit in it. It's like a very fine, uh, I think it's like shark bite or something like that, shark grit. It's a very fine uh, grit sand, and that's going to get mixed into the kit, and then we're going to roll that on top. So that'll be in the bagging area, maybe a little bit of the hallway, and then also in front of the autoclave, because this will be another bagging area for the spawn. Um, besides that, progress over here is I got a 500 kilogram which is about i think it's about a one yard approximately a little bit bigger than a one yard batch mixer coming in it's stainless steel so i'm going to have that over here so that way i can pre-cook my grains and and get that going other than that um the baggers came in so fcs did an awesome job on these i'll have an unboxing video on the ones that's complete this one is missing the water feature i need to order more of those valves the water valves but uh, this is the newest generation of the wet bagger machine to where you step on one pedal, drops everything, soybean hull, fuel pellets, water, all gets metered together. So they redesigned it to where 
it's much more refined, smoother, less welds, less pieces. So um, this is like the seventh generation and it's gotten even better. So I'll have an, a video specifically for that when I open up one of the ones I'll be using. This one I have to finish and then it's gonna get sold, but I'll be using one of the ones, probably this one right here. Um, so those are now in stock, ready to ship. It's no longer build to, uh, build to order. And then also we have hopper extensions for those that want uh, a taller hopper for another like two or 300 pound capacity. Um, other than that, we got the door framed out. So you can see the door is now framed out and hung. I ended up actually bringing the door in a little bit. I think I was around five feet width, a little bit less than that. And then I realized just stick with four foot so I can put one sheet of plywood and call it a day. So we framed out a little extension and then did the, the pressure treated lumber. Um, we have it to where the door is sealing on the outside or I'm not the outside on the inside though, but it's overlapping. So that way I can put a nice fat gasket in there. Um, and we just have magnet catches. If right now it only has one, it'll probably get more, especially as it gets the seal and, and probably a little bit of insulation too. And some other progress that we're making is the HRV system is going on. So this, this system is a recovery system to help recover the cooling or heating that goes on inside of the fruiting room. In the winter time, it'll help reduce the heating in the summertime, it'll help reduce the cooling. Uh, what it's doing is it's taking the exhaust and it's putting it through a heat exchanger. This is a 19 by 20 heat exchanger. It's just gonna get mounted up here with a hinge on the top so I can fold it up, clean that fan, and fold it down and hose off the, the, uh, the grill there. Um, really simple, really simple. And then from there, the water lines are hooking up to there and there. And then it's gonna have one, uh, two lines going back up to the, the preconditioning room to where the makeup air, so the air coming from outside, is gonna go through another heat exchanger with the water pump that circulates the water between the two. So what's gonna happen is 100 degree air will come in, the water will be about 70 degrees, say, it'll bring that uh, air down to around 80 degrees, and then the air conditioner will only have to bring it from 80 down to around 50 rather than 100 to 50. So it'll take a load off the air conditioner. Um, so I'll have a video all to that. I just want to give an update on what's going on, show that I'm making progress. I've been out here working um, five days a week and then on the weekends too. So uh, been been coming pretty well. Uh, other than that, we got more flow hoods in route. So if you're interested in flow hoods, I have them available for pre-order. I actually have some filters that are available too. This is an example. This is a uh, three foot by four foot filter. I'm sending two of them to TR. TR Davis, Earth Angel Mushrooms, shout out to him. Uh, one of my mentors and good friends. So those are going out to him and he's gonna be building his own flow hood, but I also have um, the fan filter units in three by four available as well as two by four. So the only downside to the three by fours is they ship freight. So when I get, when I get um, a chance, I'll do a video specifically for them too. So. Uh, hopefully you like this video. I know it's kind of jumping around a lot of different things, but I wanted to give an update and um, Hopefully everyone's pulling out of this whole COVID-19 BS and kind of getting back to a different normal. So uh, Hope everyone's doing well and uh, have a good one. Make sure you like this video check out my patreon if you want to support my channel and uh, Patreon.com slash Myers mushrooms and also kit.co kit.co slash Myers mushrooms for um, mushroom supplies, equipment, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then MyersMushrooms.com for supplies and equipment. So, all right, have a good one. Take it easy. Keep on mushrooming.